What's up, Odoers? Welcome back. Here at Stealthy Wood, our customers have been going absolutely wild for our keyboards and we're manufacturing more than ever before. We use work orders and work centers to define how and where our manufacturing is done, but with increased demand comes an increased need for us to be able to automate scheduling our work order operations and manually fine tune them. Fortunately for us, work center planning is here to the rescue to handle all the scheduling conflicts and optimizations for our work centers for us. So let's clickety clack away at scheduling work orders to see how planning is done here in Odoo. So let's begin with an overview of our super popular custom keyboard. In the manufacturing application, all we're gonna do is click products at the top, followed by products once again, and we're gonna select our custom keyboard product. Now to see what's involved in manufacturing one of these, we just have to click this build material smart button here at the top, and here we're gonna select our custom keyboard build materials. In the components section, we can see that this product requires five different components. And when I move on to the operations tab, I can see that there are four different operations required to make this custom keyboard. I also have five different work centers set up. The work centers are defining where we perform each operation. We can also get a better look at these work centers if I click on configuration at the top, followed by work centers. Now, a lot of our assembly operations happen at our keyboard assembly work center. And as you can see here, we also have a Keyboard Assembly 2 as an alternative work center. Keyboard Assembly 2 is an alternative place to perform these assembly operations. See our video on alternative work centers to learn how we did that. But moving on, I'm going to click on our lubrication station to see how it's configured. For all of these work centers, I have the working hours set to the standard 40 hours a week. To see more information on how this schedule is configured, we can click this internal link arrow right here to see a full breakdown of the working hours, which is Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a one hour break at noon because, you know, people got to eat. Anyways, Odoo will schedule work orders within these times. If we need to change the hours it uses, we would do that here. So let's create a manufacturing order for one of these keyboards. To do that, I'm gonna click operations at the top followed by manufacturing orders. And then I'll click this new button here in the upper left-hand corner and add our custom keyboard into the product field. And from here, I can click confirm. And if I click on the work orders tab down below, I can see that lubricate switches is our first operation. That happens at the lubrication station and takes about 20 minutes. And when I click plan at the start, Odoo will start looking for the next available time after the scheduled date where there is capacity in the lubrication station and schedule our first operation then. Next, Odoo schedules the next operation, which is install stabilizers. And that's at the soonest availability of our keyboard assembly workstation. But only after the previous operation has been completed. If keyboard assembly is busy by the time the first operation is finished, Odoo will look at the keyboard assembly 2 workstation for availability so we can get those keyboards manufactured and out the door as soon as possible. So that's what planning looks like within just one product, but let's start getting this operation up to capacity and take a look at all of our manufacturing orders. So from here, we're gonna click on the operations button at the top of the screen, followed by manufacturing orders, so we can view and manage all of the MOs that our company is currently working on. The MO for the custom keyboard that we just ordered is right here down below. And the rest of these MOs are the products that Stealthy Wood will be producing next. Now I can also see which manufacturing orders we still need to complete. And all we need to do is focus on these MOs in the future and plan for another productive week. Pretty simple, right? We can also see that all these MOs are available to produce because all the components we need to produce these products are fully in stock. So some of these MOs were scheduled for several days ago, so we better get them scheduled. To do that, I'm just gonna tick the checkbox next to all of the MOs, and then click this plan button here at the top. Odoo will sign work centers to each of the manufacturing orders that I have planned and create a schedule based on the capacity of each work center and the work order duration. If we look at the start date column, we can see that most of these start dates were changed to today. So Odoo is trying to schedule all the orders that were overdue or due today as soon as possible. Now let's take a look at how all of these orders were planned for us. We can start by clicking planning at the top followed by planning by production. 
so we can see how the operations were scheduled and organized by manufacturing order. If I click the list view button here on the right, it makes things a little bit easier to read. From here, I'm just going to click the drop down arrow for this first MO so we can see how everything here was scheduled. For this first operation here, Lubricate Switches, this is scheduled to start at 1044 and is expected to take 20 minutes as indicated by the end time here. Right after that, we have the second step, which is Install Stabilizers. That's scheduled at the next work center, and each work order operation starts as soon as the last one finishes because there was nothing else already scheduled at these work centers. With later work orders, we'll see bigger gaps between operations as Odoo optimizes scheduling each step as early as possible while respecting the capacities of the work center. And so it goes, let's see what this looks like from each work center scheduling perspective. I'll click planning back at the top, but this time select planning by work center so we can see our scheduled operations. This is organized by where they happen and we can also view the schedule by week by clicking this calendar button here at the top left and selecting this week. This Gantt view shows the schedule for all MOs that we planned earlier and also the occupied timetable of each work center. You may notice that blocks of the same color are a part of the same manufacturing order. And these green highlighted regions here on the left indicate scheduled hours for the work center. The total capacity is based on the hours of operation, which in this case is 40 hours max with 16 hours planned. If no more work orders are scheduled, then Steve can chill in the break room for the remaining hours of the week. And moving on, if we click the calendar icon here in the top right, we can see all the work center schedules hour by hour. And wow, this is a really busy day. So for Steve, here, the colors correspond to each of the work centers on the right side panel. I can also uncheck all of these work centers with the exception of lubrication station, just so I could see each work center scheduled one at a time. If an operation carries over to the next day, that's due to limitations imposed by working hours and capacity. And you know, Steve can only do so much. Now, if I click the Gantt icon in the top right of my screen, I can go back to our original view and click the calendar icon on the top left and select today. So we can take a look at what's scheduled for today. I can also drag work orders to simply reschedule them. And when I do, oh no, it turned a different color. If that happens, it means that there's a problem with scheduling. And for this issue, I'm not too sure what the conflict is yet, but I'm confident that it can be fixed. Odoo always has a solution. So to see alerts, we can click this list view icon here in the top right. And I'm also going to exit out of this work center filter to ungroup my operations and just show me the entire list. In the far right column, I can see some icons. And if I click this purple eye icon, Odoo is warning me that this step in the manufacturing process is still waiting for another one to complete. And if I scroll down and click this red exclamation warning, Odoo will tell me that this work order is planned at the same time as another work order. But regardless of what kind of scheduling conflict we've encountered, this handy replan button right here is here for me. And if I click it, voila, our scheduling conflicts are resolved. And there you have it. We now know how to get Odoo to schedule your work order operations across all available workstations, how to manually adjust the planned operations, and how to resolve any errors that come up. I hope you've leveled up your Odoo knowledge that you can now use to improve your planning process. Until the next video, I'll see you next time.